Podcast. I'm Lee Woodruff, author of the new novel, Those We Love Most. I sort of write between the shadows of my life is the way I describe it. I might be toasting a waffle over here and finishing a sentence in here. This is my debut fiction, and I'm really excited about it because it was fun to write and a real departure from writing about my own life with my husband, Bob Woodruff. If you had told me that my first two books would be nonfiction memoirs and bestsellers, I would have told you to go jump in the lake. What's so much more fun about writing fiction is that you sort of take these characters like they're raw clay and you breathe life into them and you make them do whatever you want them to do. My book is really about resilience. A child dies in the beginning of the book and I'm so determined that that not be the thing that defines this book. I love reading books about other people who go through other difficult things because I think what they make us do more than anything is get down on the ground and kiss it and thank everybody that we're as good as we are. It's the choices that people make in those moments that I find fascinating. This is a book that affirms for every mother that family and those we love most are the most important things in the world. And when bad things do happen, it's the people around us that will help pull all of us through. And that's really what this book is about. It came from a real life phone call I got about a little boy who was hit by a car and a teen was driving and my friend knew the teen. And I walked out of the room after I took that phone call and I thought, oh my gosh, look at all those lives that were just touched. I think any writer does write from what they know. And of course, with everything that my family went through uh, when my husband was injured in Iraq uh, as a journalist, that process of grieving, that process of not knowing an outcome, and that process of being a caregiver. I love stories about the intricacies that live inside of all of us and decisions we make and who we choose to love and not. Those We Love Most is really about a lot of different themes. It's about family, it's absolutely about marriage. It's also about that split second decision. What can happen if we take our eye off the ball? I am not a typical writer in the sense that I am a freelance writer of other things. I run a foundation, started a foundation with my husband that helps veterans. I have four kids. Two are getting old, but two still need me. I put so much into this, and there's a lot of syrup and grape jelly all over the original pages of this manuscript. I'm so excited to share those we love most with you.